Hey guys, thanks so much for stopping back by my channel. My name is Marnice Nicole and I'm an acrylic painter. And today is artist number 29 and we are talking about why I won't be taking commissions in the year of 2018. But first I actually wanted to share what I'm currently reading. Down Among the Sticks and Bones and this is by Seanan McGuire. This is book two in the Wayward Children series um, that he has which I absolutely love this book so far. I'm 73 pages in. It's not a big book but it is a very strong and compelling book and I wanted to share this because I love reading. I often find inspiration from what I'm reading and this book is very atmospheric. The writing is beautiful and even without reading the last 70 or so pages of this book I can really tell that it's going to be at least the three or four stars for me. This book is really really good and I love short and impactful books. So um, this book is very atmospheric. It's actually having an interesting effect on my painting and you know you go, you'll see it. Um, the idea is still in my head. It's not on paper. <laughs> But it's thanks to this book. I really, really love this book so far. I love the first book in the series. I'm going to link everything down below so you can check it out. And I would love to let me know in the comments down below what you are reading currently. So this will be the next book I'll be finishing and I'll check back in later and let you know how it went. And now to talk about the big topic here. And this is especially a good listen for new artists because I think this is a topic more people should discuss. I'm not going to be doing commissions in 2018 and that is because I've had four commissions so far and I've had such varying outcomes on these commissions and that experience has been impactful for me in a few ways. Firstly, I just have to say I like doing art for fun. I never got into art to make a career out of it. I have a very great career and I love my job. I like to paint for fun. And it's a bonus when people want to buy my work, but even that in and of itself is stressful to me and a little heartbreaking because I'm so involved in my pieces. I love them and I miss them when they're gone. <laughs> and that little emotional connection with my art and it's therapeutic for me and it's helpful for me and it's a great experience to have just you and your art and seeing what you can create and everything like that. And then it comes to commissions and you are asked to create a piece and I've had this happen four times. The piece behind me is of that four, fourth occurrence um, and this is what's caused me to finally say I won't be taking any commissions in 2018. This piece behind me was for me to do a co-worker and her daughter and this was a request from a twin sister. And you'll hear about her a lot on the channel because she is my everything she's my other half of my brain and she's also my critique partner in my art a lot of my pieces do not see completion until she's ran her eyes over it and given me ideas on how to progress on how to tweak things or things that don't make sense to her um we literally were split down the middle <laughs> when we were born and, and we think best and work best together in one unison so please know that and when you think about that your sister is asking you to make a piece of our co-workers for a holiday gift. This should not be stressful. For this piece, I've been working for four months and you can see where it's gone. That's unfinished. That's nowhere near a completed piece for me. It is lacking in a lot of stages. Um, reasonably speaking, within two weeks I should have been completed with this piece, but it's four months again later since the original request and I don't like the reference photos. They don't speak to me. I don't have a concept in my head. I don't have a point to this piece in my head. And it shouldn't be that serious, but to me it is because not only not only was this a request from a twin, and I love her, I don't want to make her happy, but it was a commission and I've been really trying to treat every commission that I receive in a professional way. This is not professional though. I'm behind schedule. I'm lacking updates. I'm lacking progress. And it's frustrating for perfectionists like me to have this happen. When it comes to commissions, there's this certain kind of like undertone that if you're an artist and you're not selling, 
you're not as validated. If you're not taking on commissions, you're not as validated. And I still consider myself a new artist because I'm still learning. I'm still absorbing and teaching myself things and developing. Um, and thought I had to take commissions and I had to sell, sell, sell in order to be validated. The time I sold my first piece, I was so happy because someone wanted to buy my art. I, I truly want to make art for fun and selling them is both a joy and sometimes a heartbreak because I, I do paint emotionally. It is therapeutic. It is uh, fun for me and then I sell a piece and I miss it <laughs> when it's gone. I name my pieces, I'm connected to them and I don't get to see them anymore if they're gone, you know? Um, so that was always hard to deal with. But on top of that, having to create pieces that I may not enjoy, it's just like, mm, like this. I don't want to do this again. Like I don't want to get a reference photo and start it and just not, or do something I really like and it doesn't um, kind of fall in line with what the client wants. I don't want that to keep happening and I want to feel validated in my art. I want to sell and you know be happy about it but I don't want to do that and and have to take work that I don't like or I don't want to have to work in a stressful situation you know because this was stressful for me and art is not stressful. Art is fun and I'm I'm sitting here like ah no so I made that decision and I'm gonna stick with it I'm not going to make any commissions I want to make art that makes me happy and choose to sell that and I have the rest of 2018 to work on that and work on so many other things as an artist but I just wanted to share that experience because I found it very frustrating that you know you have to do commissions it's kind of the thing everyone's doing but actually you you don't <laughs> um, you don't have to do commissions and you can just do art for fun and you don't actually have to sell your art to be considered an artist that's a lie this fictitious thing <laughs> out there you can make art and never show anyone and still be an artist there's a joy and a freedom to doing art that makes you happy in and if doing commissions don't make you happy don't do them nope <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna do um, it's coming to an end of 2017 I've learned a lot this year I really have and coming up at the end of the month I will be doing my end of year artist wrap-up I did a mid-year wrap-up and that was so much fun I'll also start putting together my 2017 book of art so what I did in 2016 is I created a book and I filled it with every painting that I did in 2016 and I love that book I look at it all of the time so I'm gonna do that again all right so guys I'm gonna end this here if you want to see more artist diaries of course click the playlist right here check them out there are 29 artist diaries progressing my artisthood for the last two years you can also click right here and subscribe to me I'm here every Tuesday all right guys you have a good one bye